So for our kettle corn, we're going to push the button for oil. We're going to add our seed. And we're going to shut our lid. And we're going to add our sugar once the kernels start popping. So Luke, I'm always going to keep a, keep a, um, a seed ready to go. Yep. So our beeper just shut off. Yep. And I hear some kernels popping. You hear it? Yep. I want a little bit more to pop. So I want like, I want it to be ready to start popping when I add my sugar. It's the very last moment. Okay? Like right now. See how you get a, a bunch popping? Can you hear it? Yep. So what I'm going to do, be careful. Right yep. What I'm going to do is, one hand here, one hand on my sugar, one shot, real quick. Okay? What's going to happen is, it's going to cool back off, the sugar melts, and it's going to re-pop out with sugar on okay? okay? So, I'm always going to have another sugar ready too. I got a seed and a sugar ready. Now, our beeper is not going to know what's going on when we make kettle corn. My salt, <laughs> my salt is ready. Oh, good. Yep. So don't go by the beeper when we're doing kettle corn. When you're popping, you're here. You're putting your sugar. You're making sure you get your oil in on your next batch early, and you're dumping when it's when you hear it done. Because right now the temperature just went up and then back down for the sugar, so the, the beeper's like, what's going on? So just go by you, what you know about popping kettle corn, okay? okay? Here it comes back up, yep, yeah. and this will have the sugar on it. Now same thing, we just switched over, so the kettle cooled back off, our next one will come out a little better. Yeah. Yep. 
another seed ready and another sugar, and this will be your batch. So you're going to dump it, get your oil seed, and go. Now, how's it taste for compared to your other stuff? Same? It's less oil, but it should be about the same. <laughs> Even better. Better because it costs less on the on the oil. Wow. 